Hi everybody, hello. My name is Bailey from East End Children's Center and today I am here to paint. Yeah, I'm here to paint with you. But we're not really gonna be doing, you know, the paint with the paintbrush. We are going to be using something new to paint. Can you guess what we're using to paint today? It's plastic and it holds things and you can close it like zip. Did you guess? Yeah, it's a really big sandwich bag. Oh my goodness, yep. So it's plastic, it can hold things and it opens and closes like zip. Zip, do you see? Zip. And then you can open it and put things in it. So, would you like to paint in a bag with me? Yeah? So, all you're gonna need for this is your plastic bag, make sure it's big, some paper, and some paint. Yeah, even if your bag is not very big and you only have the smaller sandwich bags, you know what you could do? You could cut your piece of paper small to fit into one of those sandwich bags and make a small painting. Yeah, you can do whatever you want. Okay, come along with me and we will paint in a bag. Here we go. Okay, so first we're gonna start with a clean space and we're going to get our big sandwich bag or some people call it a Ziploc bag because you can open and close it like zip. Yep, just like that. And when you open it, you can put your hand in it or anything. You just wanna make sure that it opens up so you can put your paper in it. So go ahead and grab your paper and we're going to slide it right into the bag. Might be a little tricky at first. Okay, make sure there's lots of room in the bag and press some air out of it. Great. Now we're gonna get our paint. I have blue. I have red and I have yellow paint and we're gonna use all these paints and we're not gonna do it one at a time we're gonna do it all together so first I'm going to squirt in the red paint squirt what color am I gonna squirt in next can you guess blue or yellow did you guess yellow and we're gonna squirt it in okay what colors next blue okay so we have our paint in there and now we are going to zip our bag closed zip and now the fun can start so you see all our paint here we can start moving it around with our hands. Yeah, moving it around with our hands. But wait, if I'm touching the paint, won't my hands get dirty? Uh-oh. Oh, it's nice and clean because the paint is in the bag. So it will not get my hands dirty. So I can squish and smush the paint all I like. Wow, so you can move it in circular motions or you could squish the bag. So yeah, just go for as long as you like. I'm gonna go for a little bit longer. Yeah, so you can spread it out. You can mix them up. What color do you think will happen when I mix blue and yellow? And what color do you think will happen when I mix red and yellow? Okay, I'm done. So we're gonna take it out and see what colors happened. 
So unzip and gently pull it out. You might need to get somebody's help to help you pull it out because it's wet and it's easier to rip when it's wet. So you have to be very gentle. And there's our painting. I see two new colors, green and orange, because I mixed those colors together. That's exciting. So for this next painting, you aren't going to need any paper. You're only going to need a plastic bag, your paint, and a little bit of tape. So you're going to need to ask a caregiver for help. Yeah, so you're gonna have to ask a caregiver for help and you'll see why in just a second. Okay, here we go. Okay, same as last time, we're gonna start with a clean space and we're going to get our big sandwich bag. Great. We are going to unzip our sandwich bag. Yep, zip, and open it up. Make sure that there's no holes or anything. But guess what? This time we are not going to be using paper. Yeah, we're just gonna put the paint right into the bag without paper. Is that silly or what? How do we paint without something to paint on? Well, this time we're not keeping it. And it's not to show, but it's to feel. So we're gonna put all our paint in the bag and we're gonna see what happens. So here I am squirting the red color in and I already put the blue. What color am I doing last? Yellow, yeah. And zip. Make sure some air's out and zip. Okay, what do you think my next move is? It seems like it's really easy to open and move around. And sometimes we want to make sure that it stays stuck to the table. Because when we're just feeling it, we don't want it to move around when we're touching it. So I'm going to tape it down. And this is the part that a caregiver needs to help with. Also, when it comes to putting the paint in the bag, you need a caretaker to help you. Okay, it looks like the paint, the tape is all done, and I'm gonna start making designs and feeling the paint in the bag. Oh man, it feels kinda cool. Yeah, what do you think it feels like? Do you think it feels bumpy or smooth, cold or warm? I wonder. You can also make shapes and designs. Here I am making a circle. Wow. And here I am just making squiggles. And then when I want to make a new one and I want the other old one to go away, I can just put the paint over top of it and make new designs. Wow. Oh, and the best part, it's a really easy thing to clean up. So you can just throw it in the garbage. Wow, thank you so much for joining me for our painting in a bag video. If you end up painting in a bag, you can send a photo to our email or to our Facebook because we would love to see it. Okay, well, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.